Good morning and um, thankful for this uh, good morning that uh, that the Lord has blessed us with. Uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's The weather has been extraordinary and wonderful these past few days. Uh, I sat on the porch for quite a while the other day. Um, and just uh, just enjoyed the the scenery. Well, I was uh, actually uh, going through some old books uh, in my old bookcase, one of the old bookcases that we have, and I found this book. And those of you, I know it's upside down, but those of you that uh, want to know what this is, it's called "The Road Taken with Jesus" by Charles. P. Fairchild, The Road Taken with Jesus by Charles P. Fairchild. Um, here's his picture. You can see. Uh, he used to sell these books at the Gingerbread Festival. Uh, uh, Gingerbread Festivals and all the craft, uh, all the craft uh, fairs and stuff like that around Mount County. And I remember uh, him and his wife, the Fairchilds, uh, they encouraged me so much. Uh, I never did really know them like personally on a personal level, but they would encourage me so much when they met me out and encouraged me to keep singing for Jesus and to keep ministering the Word of God. And they encouraged me to reach out to different uh, organizations and to come in and, and volunteer and uh, so I thank God for their encouragement through the years. If there's somebody that's listening to this that knows them, maybe family members, I'd love to hear from you. But uh, here's a poem that he has written. And it's called The Road Taken with Jesus. And I would love to read it. I can see the mountains before me. I can see the oceans of sad dreams. I can see troubled waters raging. I wonder what Jesus sees in me. I see the sins I won't call by name. I see heartaches, and not just a few. I am his weakest earthly vessel. I caused him the greatest shame. Yet he walks with me down this road I'm on. He guides me all the way home. There's a question ever on my mind. He listens as if he's never heard it before. He looks inside and forgives me. On this same road every time. Yes, he walks with me down this road I'm on. And he guides me all the way home. Charles P. Uh, Fairchild. I'd like to read just a little bit of info uh, about the author in the book here. And... This is a little short book. I don't know if there's any other publications uh, currently out of these books or not. But uh, I'm going to read a little bit about Charles P. Fairchild, uh, about the author that he has written. Uh, Charles Fairchild is a retired teacher. Uh, he taught primarily in Ohio secondary school subjects English, speech, drama, and creative writing. Born in Pippa Passes, Knott County, Kentucky, November 13, 1934. Attended public schools in Pippa Passes in Wayland, Kentucky. Further education at Georgetown College, Kentucky, and Ball State University in Indiana. He started writing in 1950. Mostly uh, short works, both fiction and nonfiction also poetry and verse, some plays and novels. His art dates back to 1943. Charles lives with his wife Margaret in an assortment of pits in rural Appalachia near the place where he was born. So, uh, I've not seen him in uh, many, many, uh, many years. Uh, like I said, of any of the families uh, watching this, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but uh, anyway, I've always loved uh, his his works. 
I've always loved him. And he was a, lo a local author. And I've always loved local local authors uh, because, to me, that's I'm proud of him. I I'm very proud of him because uh, you know, I support him. We need to support him. Uh, but I'm very proud of him uh, because, uh, you know, I'm proud to be from Kentucky. I really am. Uh, we we talk country around here. We uh, we uh, we our ways might be a little bit different from somebody else's ways. You know, uh, when they come in here, our ways might be strange. I heard a, a minister uh, that was from Nebraska. He moved in here to pastor a church, and something that something that. Uh, he said to me, uh, I never really thought about it. I never really give it any thought. But when I pass a funeral position, I'm all the time pulling to the side of the road and I stop. I was well as many others. Just about everybody, you know, they pull beside the road and they stop. Uh, uh, even me driving a school bus, I'll pull beside the road and stop when I see a funeral position. But that's just their custom, you know. But off from here, they didn't do that, evidently, uh, from where he was from. But he, when he moved uh, here, he's like, I didn't know what to expect. I had no clue what they were stopping for. Uh, but, you know, that's custom here. We're, we're in our parts. Uh, we, we stop for the funerals. And uh, we show respect to the families. Um, there was a funeral uh, not too long ago. People were standing out beside the roads. Uh, matter of fact, uh, yeah, that's uh, back during the summer, I guess. But people were standing out beside the road. Uh, people uh, out walking would just stop and place their hand over their heart, whatever. They'd take their hat off and stuff. And it was it was amazing, you know, the respect and that we have toward one another. And uh, I, I like that, you know. I really do. I love it. But uh, anyway. Uh, just wanted to read that poem and, and talk about this book just uh, a few minutes. But I uh, hope you enjoy uh, this little uh, podcast here on YouTube. Just something that I do in, in my spare time that I really enjoy. Uh, different books uh, on here. But um, anyway, uh, before I leave, just one thought. I... I listen to Away With Words, and uh, I listen to that program quite often, and this one called in, uh, he was from Kentucky, and he said that his, uh, his grandma would often say when it was foggy out, when it was really foggy, that the groundhogs are making coffee. The groundhogs are making coffee. And I'd never heard that expression before, but his, his grandma used it all the time. And uh, I think the way with words said it came from uh, uh, a short story or like a poem or something that Jesse uh, Stewart had written. And it was in one of the articles in the newspaper. And that's where it came from. But I'd never heard that saying before. As have y'all heard that saying? You know, what kind of sayings have y'all have y'all heard in these mountains? I mean, uh, kind of poetic poetic in, in, in a way, you know. Their groundhogs are making coffee. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this little uh, segment and uh, the book The Road Taken with Jesus by Charles, Charles P. Firechild. Just a poem out of that book. Hope you enjoyed the poem. Hope it's a blessed your day and um, we'll see you next time.